Feminazi! Opening your eyes to the lies of social justice. Hi kids, let's read an article. Your daily cup of joe might make you feel better when you wake up, but would you feel differently about it after learning that you're supporting hundreds of years worth of oppression of people in South America and Africa when you guzzle that skinny caramel latte? Consumption of coffee has become as American as apple pie. Yet most of the Western world is completely ignorant about the ways that drinking their favorite beverage contributes to holding down thousands of people of color and native cultures around the world under the oppressive thumb of Caucasian-centric capitalist imperialism. White supremacist colonialism laid the framework for the ongoing oppression of groups for which marginalization and subjugation through Caucasian brutality and cultural appropriation have been the norm ever since. When you drink coffee, you're literally drinking privilege gained through racism, oppression, and slavery. Can you believe this? Coffee is oppression. Drinking coffee is literally enslaving black people. That half-calf mocha you bought today? Yeah, we forgot to tell you that we're legally obligated to punch a black man in the nuts for each cup sold. And that was your choice, you glorious white colonialist patriarch. How do you feel about what I just read? Does it sound absurd? Do you think it's insane and that it's exactly the kind of cancerous nonsense you'd expect to hear from the social justice crowd? Let's play a little game. I want to give you a moment to reflect on your feelings about the article I've read. Think of a couple of words or phrases that describe this article from your perspective. It'll be important later. I'm terrible at waiting. Do you have some phrases in your mind that describe your feelings? Now let's do something with those phrases. I'm going to tell you who the lunatic is that wrote this article. Ready? I wrote that article. <laughs> That's right. It's not a real article at all. It's a great demonstration of Poe's Law. In case you've not heard of it, Poe's Law says that parodies of extreme views are almost indistinguishable from sincere expressions of those same extreme views. My article is total bullshit. Here's how I wrote it. First, I took something very common and generally liked by a lot of people. Second, I thought of what connects it to other parts of the world where people generally have it a whole lot worse than they do in the United States. Third, I connected those two dots and threw a pile of social justice buzzwords in there to make it fit the desired agenda, make it seem like a serious problem, and invoke classic middle-class white guilt pressure points to bully the reader into following my agenda to redeem themselves. Now you have a guaranteed formula for writing your own authentic smelling social justice hype on the internet. You know what's depressing? I searched for coffee oppression after writing this bogus article text and immediately found where someone posted a comment accusing an author of a post about coffee's place in history of being an apologist for colonialism and oppression by the wealthy, mostly white imperialists of the modern world. If you'll excuse me, I have to go punch a black man in the nuts now. Just down to pot of coffee. This is Feminazi, Coffee Hitler, signing off.